Real Bragging Rights is presented by Steel Shad. Fish Bite It, now available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. And by GoPro. Be a hero. Leanne, so nice to see you again. You too. Last time we hung out, we were in Guatemala, chasing huge Pacific sails. Oh, yeah. Guatemala was full of firsts for Jim, including his biggest fish ever. But Leanne had experience on her side. Dude! Welcome to Buena Vista Sport Fishing Resort! What I'm really excited about is the last time Leanne and I were together, it was in her wheelhouse. She definitely had the upper hand on me, and today... I'm in his wheelhouse. 100%. Even though their last trip together was a huge success, Jim wasn't thrilled with the final score. So Jim shows up and he tells me he's got this girl with him and he said he was cheated in Guatemala. Neither one of us has caught anything but a sail. I caught cuatro ojos, so those count. The four-eyed fish, I told you, I gotta catch you one. Cuatro ojos count. I lose on account of a cuatro ojo. Now, I don't know Jim that well, but I'm gonna trust him, so I was rooting for Jim. On our way out to Lake Ontario to chase brown and giant steelhead. This is what we're gonna do. Okay. The combined length of your biggest brown and your biggest steelhead okay. will be the winner. It's a bet. Leanne has fished all over the world, but this will be her first time seeing one of the Great Lakes. She's seeing it with fresh eyes for the first time, and it makes me kind of re-experience it all over again, which is really kind of neat. On the way out, it was absolutely gorgeous, you know, a tight little channel, and dude, you go past the channel and you, you get into like what looks like an ocean. Um, it's kind of intimidating, for sure. Maybe as calm as I have ever seen it before in my life. It's not often you get the lake to be in these conditions. Um, it was flat calm. We were the only boat out, and we've been the only boat out now for the last three, four weeks. Um, it's like a private lake, it's amazing. So I'm helping Casey get rods out. We've got a couple downriggers, we've got some planing boards, spreading out rods, and less than 20 minutes and we already are hooked up. And like a true gentleman, Jim lets Leanne have the first bite. Let me tell you something. That was a strategic move on my part because everybody knows the first fish is always the little fish. So first brown trout. I am in major trouble if uh, Jim gets anything bigger than this because uh, yeah, I mean, but it is my first brown. I'm pretty excited about that. About 7.30 in the morning, we've already got one fish in the boat. So it starts to make you think like, holy cow, like, you know, how good can this possibly be today? Hooked up. I don't know. He's decent. He's decent. So, uh, so Jim, uh, pretty close in size to mine. What do you say about that? We're gonna get him back in the water now. There he goes. Oh yeah. So second brown trout. A um, little bit bigger than the first one. All right, so tell us about the spread. What do we got working? Right now we have uh, eight rods on our boards, four on each side with lead core, two downriggers and a lead core down the middle with spoons and stick baits. Um, they're at all different depths, um, anywhere from 20 feet of water to 80 feet of water. Nice. And I got to root for you, OK? You got to root for root. Yeah, I root for root because. <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry. Shame. I, there's one right here. That's for Jim. Ah, oh, come on, man. That's a good one. He's all right. <laughs> He's not a big 10-pounder, though. Seems like we just hit a pretty good school. Yeah. This one's definitely... Woo! Oh! oh! We got a jumper! Wow. Did you see that fish come out of the water? That was awesome. I didn't know they jumped out. Steelhead will, for sure. You think that's a steelhead? I don't know. A minute later, confirmation. He's got a steelhead. Jim's taking the lead. Okay. All right, so first steelhead on the board. 
My first steelhead on the lake. This one is a male. He's definitely gonna get a lot bigger than this. And uh, super acrobatic, really colorful. Hopefully we get some while we're in the river this week too. Beautiful fish. At 24 inches, this brings Jim's brown and steelhead total up to 37. I want to say probably went 20, 30 minutes before we had a bite, but after that, it was on like Donkey Kong. Yeah, buddy. They would go back and forth, and for some reason, Jim kept getting all the steelhead, and Leanne kept getting all the brown trout. Team Root, I hear you, bro. Easy, hey! <laughs> <laughs> I was rooting for Jim. I, I don't know what happened, but the rod goes off, Jim grabs it, and he loses probably the biggest steelhead of the season. Why didn't he do a better job of eating it? You can take him to water, but you can't make him drink it. As a captain, you want to try to make the person feel good, so I tell him, Jim, it's not a big deal. We'll get the next one. Well, 20 minutes later. That's a big steelhead. Oh my god, you see that fish? Keep that rod up. Oh my god. Hey. Holy Jim. Oh my God, look at the size of that thing. Here he goes, whoa, baby. He's gone. Oh, come on. Yay! <laughs> Sorry. Damn it. Sorry to be happy about that. <laughs> and it was that moment there that I went from being Team Root to Team Leanne. <laughs> Real Bragging Rights is presented by Steel Shad, Fish Bite It, and by Proven Insect Repellent. Repels more, protects longer. Surprisingly gentle, provenrepellent.com. And by Stormer, defy the elements. Stay dry with Stormer, stormrusa.com. Jim's on Lake Ontario, going for brown trout and steelhead. His challenger, Leanne Powell who beat Jim last time in Guatemala. But the slate is clean now, and Jim's in his home territory. The combined length of their biggest brown trout and steelhead will determine the winner, and Jim has pulled an early lead. Well, right now I'm winning, because I'm the only one with two species. <laughs> with a steelhead, yeah. <laughs> it's anyone's game right now. The conditions are perfect. It's, uh, the lake is mint. There's not a wave out there. This has been the spot right here. Uh, from here to around the point, there's been a lot of big browns, a lot of steelhead being taken right here, so if all goes well, we should have a few big ones to show at the end of the day. I, how many times have you seen the lake like this? Me, twice in my life. Extremely rare. It's, uh, it's late season. Most guys have their boats put away. Um, we stumbled upon a really good brown trout bite and steelhead bite, so I've kept the boat in longer and putting a lot of smiles on people's faces. Captain Casey, man, he is, He's got hawk eyes, that's for sure. He's just constantly like eyes over here, eyes over there. Definitely one of the better captains I've ever been out with, which I'm pretty stoked about. Um, but man, he's got eyes on everything. Just up there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is a ton of birds. So uh, that means there's bait, and that means there's a chance for really good fish. A school of bait and Captain Casey has a good idea why they're here. So right now we're fishing Mexico Bay. Um, there's a tight little contour line right here off these points. Um, there's a lot of warm water here. Our fish hawk tells us it's 55 degrees. The main lake is about 49 degrees. So the bait has congregated right here um, along with the fish. Um, on this screen right here, we have another Garmin unit. This is Garmin Panoptics. Um, that's a downrigger and that's a downrigger. That little green behind it is actually our spoon. What you can watch and learn from this is amazing. Um, you can actually see fish streak over and check out a downrigger and then go and hit this one. You can call your shots. Um, this is a huge game changer. Um, anyone that's not running it should be running it. You can learn a ton from it. There's a fish right there in the middle, just streak, just streak down. You can see it marked it on the traditional one right here. He's still right there in the middle. The last time that happened, we had a bite. There's another fish up high. Doubled up. Yeah. Dude is losing his mind. It's got to be a steelhead. This, Casey said, is a domestic rainbow. That is my biggest rainbow I ever caught on the lake. So I want to hurry up and get him back in the water, but uh, super excited about that. It was a bonus fish. Whew. My arms are sore. Got another big brown. 
He's not as big as my biggest one, but another decent one, for sure. This is the honey hole right here. We have found the freaking hive. It's Jim's second brown trout, a little bigger than the first. Okay, stand by. 20 and a three quarters. Bringing Jim's brown and steelhead total to over 44 inches. When we first met in Guatemala, and she was uber competitive. It was like, I want to beat Jim's ass. Whereas coming up here, catching the amount of fish that we've caught is making it hard for either one of us to be super competitive with the other. So we just turned around, going back through the hammer hole. Resetting. Reset all the rods. Gonna crush them. Yes. Let's go. And it was like every time we made a pass, fish kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Definitely a better fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you should be nervous on this one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Got it? Yeah. 25. So there's another nice little butter brown for Leanne right there. Got a decent brown. So. Good sized fish. However, she doesn't have a steelhead yet. I really need a steelhead right now. And if she doesn't catch a steelhead, I don't care how big her freaking browns are, she's still gonna take a L. <laughs> <laughs>23 inches. First steelhead. That was wide open. We just went right through the hammer hole. Yeah. And I think we're going to do and it again. And we're doing it again. <laughs> oh, it's a baby. Got it right, got it tight. Oh, yeah. Yes! Woo! The Browns love me. Leanne raises her score by two inches here with this 27-inch brown. Oh, big one, big one. <laughs> wide open, baby, wide open. The 
hammer hole. The hammer it hole. It is the hammer Every hole. Every time, bro. Every time. <laughs> oh my God. Freaking high five, dude. <laughs> Big lake trout. Mega. Mega. Uh, yeah, he definitely had the biggest fish of the day. But Jim's big lake trout doesn't count toward his score, and Leanne is only three inches behind. The crew has to check the weather again. What if they're right, you know? And there was even some disagreement in the boat between some guys saying, no, my app only says this, my app only says that. And I was telling them, my app is saying this. All hell is gonna break loose up here. It's better to retreat and fight another day. So we're finally headed in, we're exhausted. We've done everything you could ask for out here. I don't even know how many fish we caught. Not sure what oh, the final wow. score is going to be. We're going to see how that all shakes out. I know. Bummed out I wasn't able to land one of those big steelhead I had on today. But but I'm excited that we're headed into the river to get you your first fish ever on fly rod. Of course, all of that depends on the weather. And they've gotten off the lake just in time. Dude, that is scary. Holy <laughs> I almost got soaked. <laughs> We were out here and it was so calm. I can't believe that's God. an actual lake. Like, it looks legit like an ocean. Just a typical day on Lake Ontario. <laughs> Tailwater Lodge sits in the heart of some of New York's greatest fishing. With guest rooms, restaurant, and spa packages, Tailwater Lodge is ready for you after long days on the water. Explore your options at tailwaterlodge.com. Real Bragging Rights is presented by Steel Shad, Fish Bite It, and by Breakline Optics. Vision is everything. Shop now at BreaklineOptics.com. And by Sea to Sea Baits, made by fishermen for fishermen. Shop now at Sea to Sea Baits.com. So I wake up, it's 5.30 in the morning. It actually doesn't look too bad outside. So we decide to jump in the drift boats and do one of the most productive drifts for steelhead on the Salmon River. We start out, we pass Casey and Leanne. They're kind of set up. I think they've got like 500 rods out of the boat at once. This is a quick fish. See how these rods are vibrating like this? Yeah. When one hits, it's gonna thrash. I'm not gonna lie. I've got a 16-year-old kid telling me where we should be fishing. And Leanne's with a guy who I just saw put us on the best fishing of Lake Ontario that I've ever seen. But my guy, David, tells me to chill. Naturally, there's gonna be this little part of me that is like, what if they are wrecking them up there and we're not? When we come around a corner and there's a little seam and David says, cast right there. Mega, mega, woo! 16 year old kids got it. <laughs> Fish is hot. Careful, careful, careful. Wow, that's a big steal. Peeling some drag on me now. David is masterful at boat control in this situation. You gotta remember there's no motor and there's current pushing us at the same time. Oh no, 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 no. Don't do that, please, please don't do that. David is pulling 360s in one direction and then reversing in the other direction, backing up, moving forward. I'm going to the front of the boat, moving back to the back of the boat. He's right here, you ready? Dude, it's like super, it's super stressful. So uh, we're gonna slide on down the river, check in with Root, see how he's doing, if they've seen any action, so. He's coming, he's coming. Wow. <laughs> Possible. Look at the size of that thing, dude. At 31 inches, this is Jim's personal best steelhead. Over 20 minutes, through three holes. Can't even tell you how many times it jumped. 
You're so stressed out, all of us in the boat trying to land it. It was just, uh, this fish just never quit, ever. With Jim's bragging rights sealed up, the teams decide to give Leanne a chance to check off another prized species. One of her big bucket list fish coming into this trip was a king salmon. She had never, ever caught a fish on a fly rod. We hiked down and it's fall, tons of beautiful trees. It was absolutely gorgeous down there. Before we even got any lines in the water, you could see the males and the females, like them kind of going after each other. I've never seen that before. Holy sh we got one on our first cat. Dang! Man, get him. This is a huge female. Got her on the plug, drifted down, got her on the reaction bite. This really has been just incredible experience for me being here, bringing Leanne. Got to thank her for coming up. Definitely want to thank Casey for putting us on one big fish after another. Check Casey Prisco out at Dirty Goose Sport Fishing. Also, huge thank you to David Thomas, 16 years old. Kid, you're going to be one of the greatest guides this river has ever seen. And I owe you a tremendous debt. Thank you. Also. Thanks to Jeff and Rebecca at the Sanctuary Inn, Millhouse Market, Tailwater Lodge and Spa, everybody that fed us, housed us. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>